How do you deal with employees that disagree with you? Hey, Tom Ping, love what you're doing on your channel, buddy. Super congrats, you know, giving your time and energy to nonprofit business channel. Look, man, keep driving that audience. So Tom Ping, look forward to spending some time with you. I know you got the right mindset, so I'd love for you to share some of that from the big V. God bless, be great, to next. So I made two videos. One is about Jeff Bezos and his rules about how to build trust and reputation. And I made the second video about this Japanese entrepreneur, Masatoshi Kumage, and how he built an organization that's 101 companies strong with 101 CEOs with 200,000 people. So I gave you two examples of people that have built super massive organizations, Jeff Bezos, Amazon, very big organization around the world, and uh, this Japanese entrepreneur, Matatoshi Kumage, who built a company, an organization that's 200,000 people making tons of money. He's managing 101 CEOs. So how do those people do it? And I talk about them in those videos. Check them out first. And if you check out those videos, you'll understand how to deal with employees because their approach of dealing with employees that disagree with them is very clear. Check them out. How do you deal with employees that disagree with you? First of all, I think disagreements are good. Differing opinions are good. Not everybody has to have the same opinion. We like diversity of ideas and opinions. And I think any organization, any company, any entity would thrive if there's a plethora of ideas and opinions. But with plenty of ideas and opinions, I can guarantee you most of them are shit. And this is where leadership comes in. Leadership will decide what ideas are good and what ideas are bad. Ultimately, you cannot execute every single idea. And sometimes the ideas are truly really shit. Sometimes employees only want to do what's good for them. They want to cheat the rules. They want to break the rules so that it's easier for them. The work is less hard or they can make more money with less effort. That happens a lot. So you got to understand as a leader with the experience that what ideas are good and what ideas are bad, what opinions are good, what opinions are bad. But you welcome the ideas and the opinions. But when the leader makes a decision, when Jeff Bezos makes a decision, that's it, we go forward. And it is up to the team, the senior leaders, the middle managers, the team to execute the direction of the company. If that's not the case, if everybody in the company can disagree with the policies, if everybody in the company can say, I don't want to do it because I disagree with the policy, you think the company is going to go anywhere? Probably not. The company is going to be total fucking shit. Nothing will get done. And I've seen that happen within my own company. This is what happens when there's too much democracy. Organizations, especially businesses, companies are not a democracy. When the leader says, let's do it this way, it is the job of the senior leadership, it's the job of managers, it's the job of all staff to carry out that direction, that directive. When the government tells you to do 5K, when the government tells you to stay home, are you going to say, fuck that shit, I'm not going to stay at home? Do you think that government is effective if everybody just don't do what the government says? Similarly, in a company, when the leader makes a decision, let me tell you, I'm an expert in this because I've basically gone through every possible scenario with leadership in Vietnam. Let me just tell you the most recent problems. We have policy. We must do it this way. I know this is right for the company because remember, I'm looking up high. I'm, I'm like, I'm a fucking bird. I can see everything. People on the ground, they may not see everything. So I say, this is the direction we must do it. This is the policy. Some people are going to complain because it's going to make their job harder. They have to do more. They don't like it. So they complain. They complain to their managers. Their managers complain to their leaders. And what happens is that some of the leaders even agrees with the employees. Uh, yeah, this is stupid. Let's just do something bad to the company. This actually happened. And of course, not everybody is a fucktard in my company. When people say fucktard shit, they're going to tell me. So this is how I know these things. We do have loyal employees that want to do the right things. 
when they hear things that are not good for the company, they're going to report it. And they did. Obviously, I do not accept that. When a leader tells their staff that it's okay to violate policy, it's okay not to follow the company direction, are we going to have a good company? What is the purpose of having leaders in a company? It is to carry out the direction by the company. The company says we must do this. The leader's job is to motivate the staff to make sure that they follow the direction of the company and execute as such. If the leaders even agree with the staff that, well, we should not do this, then that team will definitely fall apart. That team will not follow the direction of the company then that team will not get results. There's a reason why policies are set that way. There's a reason why directions are set in that way because your most senior leaders have the life experience, have the knowledge and skills to know what's right and wrong. They know what's good for the company. They're doing it for the betterness of the company. Employees think only about themselves, but as a leader, as a CEO, you have to think about what's good for the company, how to make the company thrive so we make more money so that there's more money for everyone. That's what the CEO thinks about. Whereas an employee doesn't think like that. Employee just want to do less and be given more for doing less. As a leader inside a company, as a middle manager, you have to understand that your job is to carry out the mission of the company. If you just agree with the employees and say, well, you know, this is a shit policy, and then, and then actually encourage staff to cheat, then I gotta get that leader out. That leader cannot be here. As a leader, your job is to motivate people, to tell them what's right and wrong, what's good for the company, why they're doing this, what is their mission, what is their purpose, how to succeed, give them the motivation, the will to do whatever it takes to advance company goal. But if we have leaders that go around, tell people that it's okay to like cheat, when I find out, they have to go. Leadership is about making people do what you want. That applies for me too. Leadership for me means my people need to do what I want. And if you can't do that, you're welcome to leave. It is, after all, a free society. You don't have to work here. I don't want people that disagree with the company policies and still work here because you're not going to be happy. You're not going to enjoy it. If you disagree with the company policy, that's okay. Go work somewhere else. You don't need to work here. I'm fine without you. Trust me, I'm fine without you. In fact, my company is better without you. Every time we let fucktarts go, my company profit goes up. Seriously, every single time, like magic. So what I'm saying is that any company, not just mine, should embrace the diversity of opinions, embrace the diversity of ideas. But ultimately, at the end of the day, the leader, the ultimate leader, like me, the CEO, has to make the final decision. Once the decision is set, the company must follow those policies and rules and execute in the direction the company sees fit. And if you disagree, get out, is what I'm saying. And that's how Jeff Bezos built huge companies. And that's how the internet Jesus, Masatoshi Kumage, he can build massive organizations because he follows exactly that. He believes in that. If I have leaders under me that don't want to follow directions, fuck off. Seriously, fuck off. Take some fucking action, be a real leader, and don't be a fucktard.